Ah. Ah, I knew it. Listen! Huh? Huh? Look. Huh? Oh, the necklace. Oh. What are you doing with that? I'm really sorry. Buck, I told you a big lie. Father Wing, you see this tree? Why, this tree was the same as any other tree before the lightning hit it. It didn't know nothing. So when you tell me a lie, it feels just as if you was a hitting me with a lightning bolt. Understand? Like I told you, we're in this together. Jody, I feel just awful. That's just why I'm gonna hit Buck before he can hit me. And then he can beat me up, too. That ain't what I meant. I feel awful because Miss Twink don't realize how good Buck really is. Hmm? He's just so much stronger and more gentle than Oliver ever will be. And that's the truth. Hmm. 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 Yeah, sure, he's stronger. But if he's so gentle, then why, why would he ever beat up on his little brother? <laughs> this once and for all. Go away. I'm not in the mood to fool around with you, Jody. You're a coward. You get your feelings hurt because Miss Twink likes someone else, so you take it out on Fodderwing. <sighs> and all because of this stupid old necklace. Uh, uh, Jody! Uh, 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 now you listen to me. If you got your mind set on beating me up, then I'll give you your chance. But first, I'm gonna fill you in. The reason I hit Father Wing is because he told a lie. With so many brothers living together under one roof, they can't go around lying to one another. I'm sorry. Jody, you said something funny a minute ago. Mm -hmm. You said that Miss Twink likes someone else. Well, that's not the way I see it. <laughs> you see, this necklace was just a thank you gift for taking care of you kids in Boston. Well, maybe a little more than that. I guess I did like Twink a little more than I would admit to anybody. She was awfully sweet and real smart and pretty too. Of course I liked her. I liked her a lot. Jody, watch. <gasps> hmm. Uh, but fuck, that necklace was real expensive. Probably as much as a wagon load of fertilizer. You're probably right, but it's no good to us now. Besides, uh, I got this strange uh, habit of throwing uh, all kinds of things I, in the water. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, let me now, no. Jody, if you still want to fight me, I'm going to give you your big chance. Uh, Only it's going to be in the water. Uh, 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 let me down. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. 
<laughs> oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh. Watch out, I'm not gonna be easy on you now. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, yeah, Watch out, Johnny. <laughs> oh. Hey there, uh, Father Wing. You're all dry. Come on in. <laughs> Dear, oh, come on. Okay, now you're asking. Uh, 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 come on, boys. All right. Uh, 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 God, I'm good. <laughs> oh. When I got underwater, I saw something shining on the bottom. And right away, I thought it was the necklace. But I decided that I really didn't want to know. Because if it was the necklace, then it was exactly where Buck wanted it to be. Okay. <laughs> I understand Buck a whole lot better than I used to. Like how he felt about Miss Twink, for instance. I understand because I liked her a lot myself. But more important is now I can understand the way Fodderwing feels about his oldest brother. And he was right. Miss Twinkle never know what a good man Buck really is. <laughs>